Hello friends, today we are guiding you to prepare interview questions on Snowflake. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you. Before continue to our session, we request you to join our channel for all the latest updates. Our team of technical and subject matter experts are working hard to create valuable content just for you. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. What are the key differences between Snowflake and Amazon Redshift? Architecture Snowflake has a multi-cluster, shared data architecture with separate storage and compute, whereas Redshift uses a node-based architecture where storage and compute are coupled. Scalability Snowflake scales compute and storage independently, while Redshift requires resizing the cluster, leading to downtime. Performance Snowflake automatically optimizes queries and workloads, whereas Redshift needs manual tuning. Data support Snowflake natively supports structured and semi structured data, JSON, Avro, Parquet, while Redshift requires conversion for semi structured data. Concurrency handling Snowflake's multi-cluster approach prevents performance bottlenecks, whereas Redshift can struggle under high concurrency workloads. Pricing Snowflake follows a pay-per-use model with auto-suspend features, while Redshift charges for reserved instances or on-demand pricing. Explain Snowflake's architecture and how it differs from traditional databases. Traditional databases use a monolithic design where compute and storage are tightly integrated. Snowflake, however, follows a cloud-native, multi-cluster architecture that separates storage, compute, and cloud services, providing better scalability, performance, and cost efficiency. What are the three layers of Snowflake's architecture? Storage layer, stores structured and semi-structured data in a compressed columnar format. Compute layer, uses virtual warehouses to process queries with elastic scaling. Cloud Services layer, manages metadata, authentication, security, and query optimization. This architecture allows Snowflake to deliver high performance, flexibility, and cost efficiency compared to traditional databases. How does Snowflake separate compute and storage? Snowflake follows a decoupled architecture where storage and compute are separate, unlike traditional databases where they are tightly integrated. Storage layer stores structured and semi-structured data in a compressed, columnar format in Cloud Object Storage, AWS S3, Azure Blob, or Google Cloud Storage. Compute Layer, Virtual Warehouses, handles query processing and can scale up or down independently without affecting storage. Cloud Services Layer, manages metadata, authentication, and query optimization. This separation allows users to scale storage and compute independently, optimizing cost and performance. What is the role of the metadata layer in Snowflake? Snowflake's metadata layer, part of the cloud services layer, plays a crucial role in managing, query optimization, stores statistics, allowing Snowflake to optimize query execution. Data governance, tracks access controls, security policies, and compliance requirements. Zero copy cloning enables instant duplication of tables without additional storage costs. Time travel and fail safe supports historical data access and recovery. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you liked the video and haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. In comments you can share the topic of your interest. Our team will prepare the video for you.